Today's kids are really guinea pigs. Hear me out. They are the first generation to grow up with unlimited access to smartphones. New studies reveal this can have a devastating impact on the brain. But why? And what can we do about it? How screen time affects children. Screen time and its effect on child development has been an issue since TVs first conquered our living rooms. But nowadays, screens are everywhere. Our smart devices are also much more immersive than TV. They isolate us more from our surroundings. A recently published study shows excessive screen time hinders communication between parents and toddlers. The more toddlers are exposed to screens, the less they tend to speak, listen and engage in conversations. And that's really bad for their brains, because language is vital for the development of cognitive, social and literacy skills. It determines at a young age how our brains are wired. This is what the researchers in Australia did. They regularly monitored a group of around 200 kids from when they were 12 months old to when they turned 36 months of age. They used special recording devices tucked into each child's t-shirt. Firstly, to record speech from the child and their parents. And secondly, to record noise from nearby gadgets. The results? Screen time hinders conversation. When the children were 18 months old, they would make roughly one less verbal sound for every extra minute of screen time they were exposed to. By the age of two, children generally start to have more complex conversations. When the children in this study reach that age, they missed out on almost one whole conversation with their parents for every two minutes of screen time they had. But the most significant impact was observed when the kids in the study turned three. By that age, they were exposed to an average of nearly three hours screen time a day. Every minute of screen time the three-year-olds experienced meant they were exposed to almost seven fewer spoken words from their parents. Each extra minute of screen time also meant the kids made roughly five fewer vocal sounds and had one less conversation with their parents. This phenomenon is called technoference. So far, most studies on the subject have relied on voluntary information provided by parents. This is the first time reliable data has been collected from children over an extended period of time. Scientifically, it had only been assumed that digital devices reduce face-to-face -face interactions at home. For many people, especially working parents, smartphones may appear to be the perfect pacifier to keep their children calm and entertained. But the recent findings show that the long-term implications could be problematic. So what to do as a parent? Don't get me wrong, kids need to learn how to use digital devices. They are crucial tools in our modern world. Nevertheless, you might want to follow these three tips to help your child develop a healthy relationship with them. First, be a good role model. When you spend time with your child, only use your smartphone when absolutely necessary. Try to remain approachable, even if they're still very young. Second, set clear rules. Try to monitor how much screen time your child has and when they're older, what they are doing online. Third, find online activities you can share. This might allow for more conversation and bypass some of the negatives of screen time. Kids and smartphones, what do you think on that matter? Let us know.